The other Texas A&M quarterback, he passed for 7,000 plus and rushed for 1,000 or more in his career with the Heisman Trophy winner, Johnny Manziel. Deep drop by Mon, floats one out of bounds in the general direction. Mon Jr. from San Antonio, Texas. Option look. He takes off running and gets bounced out of bounds. They've got to be able to mix in the run enough, and the quarterback run will be a big part of that tonight. I guess it matters who you're playing, Georgia Great up front. The week before, AM ran for 319 yeah. yards against South Carolina. Obviously, a much different defense than what the Bulldogs possess. Incomplete pass intended for Jalen. One in the country in the AP poll at the time of their meeting. They lost at Clemson. They lost to Alabama. Now they have a shot at number one in the AP poll, LSU. Third down and eight. Mon, deep throw. Nobody home. Single season point total record for LSU. Low throw behind. They realized they couldn't run. They kind of abandoned their running game. They put the game in Kellen Mond's hands to throw it. And he threw it very well against a very good Georgia defense. I think they're going to have to kind of do that right now. They've got to get some chunk plays out of their passing game. Mond faked it, kept it, and goes out of play. Of course, Baylor has to be brewing Blowing the 25-point lead against Oklahoma for their only loss of the season. They'll get another shot at the Sooners in the Big 12 title game next Saturday. Mond straight ahead for the first down. Kellen Mond. Mond from San Antonio. Played his last year of high school football at IMG Academy in Florida with a lot of other outstanding players. His pass incomplete over the head. They didn't do anything. To change that opinion as they handled Michigan with ease. Mond ahead again for two. Glenn Logan took him down. We're down to AM does care about time of possession. They're among the national leaders in that category last year. In Jimbo Fisher's first year. In Aggie Land. Mond gets buried. Back ends right here. He's going to run a stunt. See, they cover all the guys, and that makes the line have to block man protection. And Chason comes inside. They lose track of him, and he gets right to the quarterback. It's hard to find something that he doesn't do exceptionally well. Kellen Mond incomplete for Courtney Davis. But Kerry Vincent in coverage, remember? And that's what all that leads to. He is a very quick processor of chaotic situations and seeing what he needs to see quickly and, uh, and capitalizing on it. On second and 10, against some pressure, Mon got it off. Be quick and be accurate with the football. Very similar in that regard. Of course, teams are going to have to make a judgment about Tua's health after the hip injury. Mond taken down. Back of the 17, Kayla Vaughn. There's a spin move. Watch him come right into the shoulder and then spin back to the inside with quickness and get Kellen Mond on the ground. And a good start for this LSU defense pressuring the Aggie quarterback. Perhaps they found something in the second half last week at Georgia and they made a game of it against the Dogs, but whatever they found was lost somewhere on the trip here to Baton Rouge. Jalen Wider. Him around a lot. He plays all over. He's up in the box this time on the slot. He'll play deep safety. Very active guy in this defense. They come after Mon. He's in full retreat and just throws it away. Incomplete. Marcel Brooks, here he is, number nine, just going to come off the edge, just a speed rusher. And this guy is one of the fastest guys on the team. Actually, Kellen Mon kind of. One thing we are feeling fairly confident about here tonight, we're not looking at another seven overtime game between these two teams as they played last year. Nice catch by six total yards. We're nearing halftime. 26 yards on 19 plays for Texas A&M. Kellen Mond on target should be a first down. They only have one defensive lineman. That's right there, Richard Lawrence. They've got linebacker type 
pass rushers surrounding him on this third down and long. Kellen Mond, four for 10 passing for 21 yards. And dumped again by Damone Clark. System to heart to heart with Adrian Martinez. Yeah. But, you know, again, that's part of the crazy thing. I don't think anybody knew. I mean, he was at Ohio State Big System and made this decision. I mean, it has been a great place and a great fit for him. Mond to Spiller on first down for three. Now Kellen Mond takes off up the middle. Good decision. He gets helicoptered around by Kerry oh, Vince. 6'3, 217 pounds, but he's pretty fearless, too. They bring pressure. Adam after the 18 yard run. It's batted out of the air by Christian Fulton as well. Another of the 14 seniors honored before the game, playing in their final home game, and going out with a bang as we approach halftime. Mond under pressure, just heaved it up. Hendrick Rogers hoping for a flag. They're extinguished. And he's going to leave the pocket. We've seen Joe Burrow leave the pocket. We saw the penalty on the first time he left the pocket. But these are the kind of hits that Kellen Mond has taken all year. Gets rid of the ball, hit on the ground. The Saints having an excellent rookie year. And that was a big loss from the offensive line of a year ago. This offensive line is not as good for AM. Mond almost intercepted. Pretty minute performance like that on top of this to change the perception of this LSU defense a little bit. Kellen Mond dropped for a two-yard loss. And then... Second and 12, Kellen Mond just five out of 14. For 24 yards passing in the first half. He throws on the run, incomplete. Trying to get it to speed. Very talented, true freshman from Fort Worth. Third down and 12. Mon steps into the throw way too high. Looking for Kendrick Rogers, who is looking for a flag in the ring. Aggies at their own 39-yard line. Even a simple pass required a difficult catch by Isaiah Spiller. Derek. After the loss of two, look out, Mon got whacked by Pat. Patrick Green, a queen, and threw it out of the theory, yeah. the weakness of the team. I mean, for so many years, it was the other way around here right. at LSU. Exactly. The defense carried the offense. But I do think the seven overtime game has a lot to do with the motivation level here tonight. There's the best throw of the night by Mond, but Kendrick Rogers couldn't hang on with Christian Fulton. That is on ESPN and the ESPN app. Here's an interception by Grant Delpit, bringing it back down the sideline. Flags are thrown. Here he is right here. He's going to play the deep middle and watch him just lock eyes on the quarterback, the really Kellen Mond. The field is an interception. <laughs> Not a very give my two cents worth. Well, he said Marcus looks great for 59, and he does. And John Robinson looks pretty darn good for 84 as well. Isaiah Spiller with the biggest play of the night for the Aggies. And the backfield, here's Spiller, and as he leaves, none of these linebackers are gonna pick him up. They get caught up on the crossing routes, nobody goes with the back. It looks like Jacob the deepest penetration now for the Aggie offense. Low throw. Jamon Osmond, the 2013. Ed was very disappointed he didn't get it. He was trying to call a timeout there, as you saw. So they were on target. Helen Mon comes out throwing, and it's incomplete for Courtney Davis. Isaiah Spiller got them five. Big play. Jacob Phillips made the tackle, so here's third and five for AM in the final minute of the third quarter. Mon throws and almost intercepted diving attempt by the true freshman Cordell Flott. Tonight, eight times. 
to me this is a great opportunity after that kind of a momentum play to go play action and take a deep shot down the field. Low snap. Mond. Couldn't find anyone to throw it to and he threw it away. And only Travion Williams had more rushing yards as a true freshman than Spiller has had this year. Mon slides down trying to duck under. The other things you have to do to be a running back at this level. Pressure in the pass batted out of the air by Jacoby Stevens. The junior who plays all over the field. He Ole Miss's quarterback John Rice Plumley was running up and down the field against the Tiger defense a couple of weeks ago in Oxford. More pressure this time from Stingley off the corner. Flag down, tidying for extra yardage, and the ball got ripped out, mm -hmm. and it led to a Georgia touchdown. That time, did a great job protecting the football in the midst of contact. Well, they'll be in great shape with Weidermeyer and Baylor Cup next year. Cup had a broken leg, and that's a dropped pass. Maybe a touchdown. Uh, find a drop underneath it. Watch Jacob Phillips. He's going to try to get under this, but this is a seam route that's open. And Kellen Mond makes a pretty good throw. And that's a ball that should be caught. Right in the hands of Rennick, a transfer from Kansas. Part of the game. Is the game in hand? Yes. But what LSU is fighting and what they're battling in terms of the perception of their defense, these are important plays. And they're in attack mode all out here. Patrick Queen came on the blitz. Mond threw it away. And now the officials are talk ball game from their side of the field. Well, it has been mystifying because it certainly seems like there's a lot of talent on this defense. They just haven't played up to it. Deep throw. Kendrick Rogers now with a flag down. He was trying to make a one-handed catch. I don't know if that's a flag or just something blowing across the field. Well, that could be because it is a very breezy <laughs> evening here at Tiger Stadium. There is no flag, although Rogers thought there should have yeah. been one. Stingley season. I know they were hoping for more than seven wins. Perhaps they'll get number eight in the bowl game, but they did play one of the toughest schedules in the history of college football, including three teams ranked number one in the AP poll. First time in history that's happened. Mon just lobbing up a Hail Mary, and Jacoby Stevens has it. Averaging 420 yards a game. They've got 149 yards with nine minutes left. Add to that. Nice throw to Osborne. It'll be interesting, and you've made the point a lot of people have. It's important to be number one. It is. When the uh, college football playoff begins, because if you're number two, you're probably your LSU or Ohio State. They'll take a look at it, but for now, it's the interception for Kerry Vincent. His third of the year high. He had thrown two interceptions of the game four times. Well, but, and he's had a rough night, but this one's not his fault. Watch the crossing route here. The intended receiver is Cameron Buckley. You're going to see it better on the next shot. He just pulls his body out of the way. I don't know how he could have thought this wasn't intended for him, but at least put your arms up and try to touch the football. And Kellen